Hey, welcome to this shortwave radio channel. And uh, this is the missing parts that I needed. Received today from China. Uh, pretty fast. Took, what, a week and a half, maybe? Two weeks, max, to receive this from China. So if you have a tabletop receiver, so I got two radios that have PL259 connectors. Uh, so here is the adapter for SMA to uh, PL259. Uh, purchased from China and uh, ripe today. So I will be able to hook up my Yesu FT450 and my uh, ICOM ICR8500 with uh, the uh, loops easily because the loops, of course, use a SMA connector. SMA connectors are like this. So now you have the possibility to have this wire screw in the adapter. And so if you are wondering, what do you need if you have an MLA30 loop? Well, what you will need is a um, female SMA connector to male PL259. And that is the only thing needed. And you can actually connect the loop to that uh, device and enjoy uh, your loop, your MLA30 loop antenna on your tabletop receivers. I purchased them from China. I believe they cost, I don't, I, I need to check out the price, but they were very, very inexpensive, like $2 each, something like that. And uh, I thought, well, eh, let's, let's order a few. And um, so they arrived today. We'll be connecting that to the radio and enjoying, uh, of course, the loops now. Easily connecting the loops and disconnecting if I need to on the uh, major receivers that I have at home, the desktops. As for those wondering, what do you need for uh, the um, portable receivers? So you see here, I made my own cable because um, it. Um, I did look. I, I'm wondering, some of you might have ordered some. So if anybody has ordered some, uh, it'd be maybe it'd be nice to share the link to uh, the um, the adapters, but uh, technically you would need to actually have uh, a, uh, the adapter would be a female SMA to, uh, basically it's one eighth, um, kind of a one eighth audio cable. Uh, so this one is a stereo cable, by the way, and I use it and it works fine with the receivers. Um, I, you know, will not be, probably not be buying an adapter because um, I, I'm, I'm going to make my makeshift cable with this wire and it works great and I don't need to buy an adapter. I'll have just a cable. So what happened is I actually purchased a uh, cable with SMA connectors already on it and have uh, simply uh, sliced the wires and uh, we'll be connecting that and making sure that it's connected properly. The only thing is you need to make sure that you connect the center of uh, this um, this connector, the center needs to be connected to uh, the um, antenna itself. And the two other parts here that I've used uh, are connected basically to the grounding uh, side of the loop. So, um, and it, it works great as you see here, uh, receiving a VOA. So that's pretty much, so I'll have a makeshift cable that I'll be using. Um, like I said, I haven't yet completed the cable, but this is where I spliced it and actually will be making sure that all of this is shielded. So we'll be um, adding a, shield, a little shielding uh, around it, maybe some uh, aluminum foil or something. Uh, and then um, making sure that all of this doesn't touch and anything, soldering the wires together, uh, probably using some uh, e-shrink to um, complete so that it looks cute and nice without, uh, and, and, and you know, I think it's going to be a nice little cable. And of course, I've got the adapters here. So I don't know if anybody found a uh, officially an adapter that would fit here and you just plug the SMA cable. If you do, share the link. It'll be interesting to see um, where you purchased and where you found them. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.